nature's way of saying buy me. It's so easy to get caught up in the moment. You see an advert of puppies and you race out and think, I've got to get one, I've got to get one. These are working dogs and yet they make fantastic puppies because they're socialized right from the start. It's important how you socialize your litter before they even leave your premises. And any decent person who's breeding for quality is going to put time and effort into these little pups to get them to this stage just before they go to their new homes. These are sort of seven weeks old here, six, six or seven weeks old, and we're humanizing them. We're getting them used to play. It's really nice when you have a reasonably big litter, so you get a nice social bond that they learn through play, through fighting, through put, turning on pressure and turning pressure off. And we teach them to carry, because most of these will go off to be gun dogs. And that's what we're doing. We're bringing these dogs on and we're showing you how to do it. It's as simple as that. And look at that little waggy tail and that dog's working it out how to turn that over and pick it up. Don't put pressure on them, let them find their feet. Some of them are softer than others, some are bolder. You always get one who's really bold and wants to st stand out. But they change, they change so much. If you sat down, for two weeks and watch the litter between six and eight weeks of age they change so much so when people tell you that oh I can go and pick a pup, a pup out of a litter that's going to make the grade as a um, <coughs> let's just say blind dog association we can pick the dog at eight weeks old I disagree I think that they change so much some of these dogs are eight weeks old looking bold as brass then get turned over by a litter mate and then all of a sudden they're not as bold and the little mate starts to find his feet or her feet and at the end of the day they're testing each other all the time and these two videos that I'm putting up now is showing you puppies at different stages testing and they learn for association another pup will put up with it for so long and then go back off you don't normally get damaged with each other but what you normally get your dog learns a lesson from it and avoids it and that's what it's about it's about showing you how to bring these pups on how to get the best out of them You've got to humanize them, you just don't lock them in a the kennel. They've got to see what's out there in the big wide world. And they're gonna go wrong. They're gonna go wrong. All dogs go wrong, same as children. They'll all go wrong. You've got to learn by their mistakes. And at this stage, yes, they punish each other sometimes, but I don't step in and use discipline and punishment. I'm just building a bond with these dogs at this stage. I want these dogs to trust me and want to be with me. And that's the important thing. So that's these little pups for you lovely little litter um, really really keen and we've bred that many litters over the years we know how to bring our litter of pups on to a very high standard so those dogs are given every chance that's your early foundation training that we put into these dogs and when we say training we're just building that foundation ready for training and i don't really start training until these dogs are about 12 months of age but when i say training i'm talking about real discipline Hope you like that video.